we begin with those demonstrations at Columbia. They started at 4 a.m. and they are still going. Students and faculty are criticizing the school's president after she was grilled in a heated hearing on Capitol Hill over the school's handling of anti-Semitism. CBS 2's Ali Bauman live now in Morningside Heights for us. Ali. Christina Maurice, right now, Columbia University's main entrance remains locked tonight as pro-Palestinian students continue to rally out here behind me. Earlier, Columbia's president testified to Congress that reconciling students' right to free speech with the rights of Jewish students to learn in an environment that's free from discrimination has been a central challenge at this school since October 7th. As dueling pro-Palestinian and pro-Israel demonstrations swelled at Columbia University Wednesday afternoon, the school's president, Manu Shafiq, was sitting before the House Education Committee for five hours. Anti-Semitism has no place on our campus. The Republican-led committee is accusing the Ivy League institution of mishandling anti-Semitic incidents on campus, including assaults and vandalism. New York Congresswoman Elise Stefanik blasted Shafiq over the administration's response to professors who have used anti-Israel rhetoric, including Joseph Mossad, who described the October 7th Hamas attacks as awesome, astonishing, and incredible. That professor is now under investigation, but still chair of Columbia's academic review committee. Will you, Will you make the commitment to remove him as chair? Um, I, I think that would be, I think I, I would, yes. It's clear that President Shafiq does not want to do anything, so she should just get the hell out of here, because if she can't step up, she should step out. On campus Wednesday, the university gave students until 9 p.m. to disperse from an unsanctioned pro-Palestinian tent city, which they erected, or face suspension. While in front of the school's main entrance, students waved Palestinian flags, clashed with police, and lit small fires into the night. Columbia has shown over and over again that they don't care about student rights, they don't care about student voices, they don't care about student safety. Aiden Parisi says they were suspended for refusing to comply with the school investigation after demonstrating in support of Palestinians. They conflate anti-Zionism with anti-Semitism, which is inherently anti-Semitic in its own way. But some Jewish students became visibly emotional as they walked past the rally. To hear them cheering Intifada right now, when that instilled so many, so much fear in so many Jews all around the world, is just really disturbing. Kim Silverman, a Jewish graduate student, told me she regrets her decision to attend Columbia. I'm scared to wear a Jewish star here. I've gotten very nasty anti-Semitic comments at me, and I, I just don't understand how this is accepted. In a statement to CBS News, Professor Massad said that the lawmakers misrepresented his article and that he has not been notified about any investigation. The NYPD made at least one arrest out here tonight, and we're still waiting on an official count from Columbia about how many students have been suspended. We're live in Morningside Heights. Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News. Ali, thank you.